Hey there, welcome back and uh, thanks for watching. This video is going to be about the um, thread lock um, that you should put everywhere a metal screw is in a, is in a uh, metal threads. And I like to do this toward the end of the build, that way I make sure they're all done. And I start at the front, work all, work all the way to the back. So um, as far as the um, front is concerned, the spinner, I never put thread lock on the spinner bolt or on the um, um, uh, prop nut inside. They need to come off and on more too often. Um, so there's nothing there. <clears throat> the screws that hold the um, uh, engine mount to the firewall should have already been done when you put the firewall in. And these screws that mount the uh, uh, nose wheel into the firewall should have already been done at the same time. <clears throat> those are put in. So those should already be done. On the engine, the screws for the muffler here and the two screws that hold the muffler on, I don't put thread lock on those because uh, the engine gets hot, thread lock uh, gives out when, when it gets hot, so I don't bother to put anything there. Um, so uh, that takes care of the engine area. Um, next is the wheels, and the wheels um, are... Uh, are not as hard to do as you might think. What I normally do is, first off, these wheel collars are the uh, not very good kind. Uh, I prefer socket head screws. These are Phillips, and it's actually the crazy Phillips and uh, uh, the um, Phillips and slotted head at the same time, and those aren't very easy to do. So. The way I like to do these is I'll take the um, collar off, take the wheel off, and uh, always have a paper towel around. And uh, I'm using uh, Loctite uh, today. I've used Permatex thread lock and Loctite interchangeably, it just depends upon what's available. Uh, both are good, um, but it helps to have a blue, uh, I mean a paper towel to catch any blue drips that you might have. So um, we'll see here. Okay, so I'm going to take this collar off. And the way I like to do these is I'm not going to take the collar all the way off. And I need a different screwdriver. Sometimes the wide screwdriver works better than these. Sometimes just a the regular flat screwdriver works well. Okay. So um, Alright, so I'm not going to back that all the way out. What I'm going to do now is just touch a little bit of blue Loctite on there and just screw that back in with it all the way down. And it certainly would be nicer if they used um, a slightly more expensive screw. They probably saved all the 10 cents on this airplane and they didn't produce that many so they could afford the 10 cents and pass it on to me. Okay. Uh, you want to make sure that's reasonably tight so it doesn't come out. All right. And I might dab the excess blue off, uh, but not a whole lot. Okay, so now that that's in place, 
Um, I'm gonna put the wheel on. And what I like to do is I take a three by five index card and cut it uh, in half lengthwise. And I'll put one side of the index card here, the other side of the index card there. And so that will make sure that the uh, um, wheel stays away from the collar. I'm going to back the, this out and I might as well go ahead and put the thread lock on before I put the wheel collar on. Okay, now I get the two pieces of paper in place. And uh, screw that back together. Now with a piece of paper on both sides, that gives you plenty of room for the wheel to... Right. So now when you take the paper out, the wheel spins nicely and it doesn't have much plane in either direction. Okay. So, um, okay, now I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and do the other two off camera and be right back. Okay, the last uh, screws to, that need uh, thread lock uh, are the set screws in the quick connects. Okay, there are six of them in this airplane. There's one for the throttle, two for the nose wheel, um, so, uh, nose wheel and rudder servo, uh, one for the nose wheel, one for the uh, rudder, and then one for the, eight, uh, for the elevator, and there's two in each of the wings. So there's four in here and two in the wings. <clears throat> The um, two in the wings are easy. I'm not going to show you how to do that. These, these three are actually fairly easy because they're easy to get to, although they're in a tight, more tight cramped space. Um, but I normally like to have the airplane sitting like this so I can put a paper towel underneath it so, so that it, when it drips, it doesn't drip um, on the wire. You don't want the Loctite to drip on the wire because if you have to adjust the wire, that Loctite will prevent it from sliding easily. Uh, so you have to do that very carefully. And the one back here <clears throat> is going to be the hardest to do, the elevator, but it's also the most important because if you lose your elevator, you lose your airplane. So you do want to do this one, but you want to do it very carefully. You want to hold the airplane vertically so that, uh, and, th and in this particular case, if I get it on the, on the, um, um, uh, wire I'm not going to care because I don't ever plan to change that one. Um, so uh, that's going to be a little bit more difficult. Um, if you need to change, make any adjustments uh, to the elevator, I would make it through the radio or through the um, mechanical adjustment on the clevis. Uh, have your radio standing by and turn your airplane on when you do it. That way the servo is not going to move and then you can make sure that the uh, wire doesn't move as you, as you put on the Loctite. Uh, this is going to be difficult to film off camera. So I'm um, difficult to film so I'm going to do it off camera. And, uh, but those six are the remaining uh, Loctite areas. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video.